here's the glove, right? And and I, I, I train on the glove, but then I train on, you know, what this glove is. Now, this one, interesting enough, this is the wrong size for me. So I put it on and it won't go on. So I can show in the training, you have to wear a rubber insulating gloves at the proper size. You shouldn't be squeezing it on, right? So I've got a glove that's the wrong size for me. And then I have a glove that is the right size for me. So I talk about size in the glove. See how my hand very easily slips into this glove? One, these gloves have to be sized. And the size is indicated as a nine and a half. And that's actually inches around this portion of your hand, right? So when you size these gloves, you measure inches around this portion of your hand, and then you add a half an inch, because this glove's not meant to fit tight. It's meant to be you know, on the worker's hand, but it's also meant that it shouldn't shake off, right? It should fit, right? And this is a system. So there's two parts, the rubber insulating glove, the leather protector. This leather protector is designed to protect the rubber so it doesn't get damaged because if you get a pinhole through the rubber, it'll conduct, right? So I use rubber insulating gloves in the training and it, it works, right? Because I can hold it up, I can show the sizing, I can show the, the class zero and the max use voltage, and I demonstrate the pre-use checks in the training. This medium works.